everyone, my name is Huntress Rule Gaming here. Welcome to Let's Play The Portraits. Now, if you may remember Layers of Fear, that has that actually has a lot of paintings, some portraits and landscapes that are basically haunted in a twisted way, but now it really comes with only the portraits, not with the landscapes, including this one, for example, specifically a little bit similar to like Leo Vincible or Trevor Henderson portraits right there, like the Siren Head or the Small yeah, anyway, this is a portrait. Yes, specifically an indie horror game, similar to both Leo Vincible, Lear Saphir, and Trevor Henderson. But it's a little bit different right now with these paintings that are about to come to life, like Night of the Museum, but really scary. But with that, let's let's start. I was supposed to be home hours ago. It was a simple gig, but many hours away in a small town I had never been. A few hours into my ride back, my truck started acting up and I had to stop by the mechanic. I spent an arm and a leg, but it seemed to be fixed, and it wasn't until 9 p.m. that they were done with six hours left to drive. I continued the drive home, but all at once, it hit me just how much I had been overworked lately. I was exhausted. I nearly uh, swerved into uh, oncoming traffic and realized I couldn't make it. There was only one hotel in this town, and it was being uh, renovated, so I had to get it in Air Airbnb. Airbnb, what's that? There was only one available, $130 a night uh, before fees, and with a rating of 1.2 stars, unbelievable, uh, but can't be worse than some of the places I've stayed. It, it was down a long, winding road in the woods. Eventually, the, the pad narrowed so much that I couldn't take my truck any further. I follow the path another half mile until finally I see it. More and more a cabin than a house, really. I, I typed in the key code on the lockbox by the front door. After three tries it opened and I grabbed the key, went inside the shithole and locked the door behind me. So this is how it began. I really went into the shithole, right? Okay. Flashlight activate. Oh, okay, there's a note right here. Okay, dear guests, welcome to our humble uh, adobe. Wait, abode. <laughs> dear guests, welcome to our humble humble abode. Thank, thank you so much for choosing to stay with us. You have full access to the kitchen, laundry, and anything in the fridge or pantry. Our casa is, is su casa. What? That's a little bit Spanish. If anything is wrong, please feel free to call us at 6... 81555-4321. Please contact us before you leave a review so we can earn that five stars. Few our few house rules. No shoes inside. Please leave them at the door. Do not enter the door in the basement. Please take any food with you. We don't want anything going bad in the fridge. Thanks, the Davidsons. P.S. On the off chance that the power is out when you get there, sadly, our power company sucks. There is a backup generator in the basement. If it is out of fuel, there should be extra in the pantry. Okay. All right. There should be extra in the pantry. So the backup generator in the basement. Okay. Power's out when you get there. All right. Okay, good. That's what I needed to do. Okay, there is a gristique and, and pungent aroma coming from the fridge. Okay. So, oh, okay. This is a portrait of you right here. American Gothic, but a little bit creepy. Well, what is the deal with this portrait? Why would they put up something so freaky and then have... Okay, looking at this make me feel ill. All right, let's not look at it. Hello? Anyone? Oh, yeah, that, that was at the title screen. That was really scary. What's this? Somehow... I get the feeling I would be uh, dirtier after showering here. Hello. It may be just because I'm so uh, tired and delirious, but this portrait is really making me, no matter where I go, feels like I am being watched. Oh. Okay. Whoa, okay. Okay. There is a TV and I can see someone down there. Can I get in? No. There's two portraits right there. And I can only see... Oh, that one's peeking. Hello. That's it. I can't keep looking. All right. Let's not look. I want 
gonna try this door. Ah, oh, shut up. What's with you guys? I do not like the uh, the vibes of Trevor Henderson or Leo Vincible all over my my visions when I'm sleeping at night. All right, so let me try this door. Oh, wait, what's this? Cereal? Okay. All right. Oh, what is this? I picked up the fuel container. What's that for? A fuel container. So it must be for the downstairs to the basement, right? God, I do not like the creaking either. All right, going down. All right. What is this? Okay. Some closets are actually open a little, but I don't mind, huh? Okay, it won't budge. What do you mean? Oh, okay. It filled it with fuel. All right, I got the fuel with me. Whoa, what the fuck? Guys, at least I can see a little. Thank you. Thank you for the red light. I'm going back up now. Okay, still there. Okay. I know some of you are about to come to life. There is, you have a scythe with you. What the fuck? All right, some lights are turned on, so that means I can see better. Guess nothing has changed yet, right? What about what about the fireplace? I never had the fireplace. Oh, wait, here. I don't need to use the bathroom right now. Why? Just why right now? Okay, I can interact with one. That's how it works, right? Okay. All right. Oh God, what's going on with my vision? Am I going to die? Okay. Oh shit. Oh damn. Why? Everything's happening now. Can I go in here? All right. I'm gonna see if I go back in the bathroom now. Hello, you do the same thing? Can I look at you for too long? Because I know for a fact that you're gonna do something. I'm gonna keep looking at one of them for too long. I'm gonna go in the bathroom. Let me have a good look at this guy. Hi, you're the one from the title screen, right? Okay, you're just gonna kill me now? Are you gonna ring my ears that loud? And that's gonna keep progressing much more further? Why am I just staring at it while I hear like the sounds of some vampire drinking my blood? Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. Oh, okay, I remember this guy. I think that was the same pose as like devouring his son. That's what it reminds me of. Okay. I don't know if you're gonna do anything, guys. Do I go to bed? I can't sleep with these creepy portraits staring at me. Just trying to ignore them, but it's getting in my head. I'll just rest my head face down. Okay. That's how you sleep. Hello? Okay. My stomach is suddenly killing me. Oh, really? Oh, God. Here we go again. Oh, my God. One is gone. Oh, my God. One is missing. Ah! Okay, your eyes are glowing. Oh, God damn. What the fuck, guys? Oh, my God. Yeah, I need to go all the way back to the bathroom to see if he changed anything. Hi. Didn't do anything. Only this guy did, 
and that the other one was missing. Okay, can I? I can't shit with the door open. I get performance anxiety. Do you really? Eventually. Okay, now I close the door. That means I can actually take a shit. Oh! Okay, I can interact with you while I do that, right? I can't do this with a damn portrait. Who pussies up in every room? Okay. What the fuck? Oh god, okay. I'm gonna keep looking at you right now! Okay. How do I get out? Oh, okay. It's jolting me to look at this painting. Oh, okay. Is that how you really want to start? Um. Oh, okay. All right. That's what I can do. All right, guys. You don't seem to do anything, right? You're not gonna kill me or anything? Let me check this room. Oh, he's back! Where, where has he been? Where have you been, guy? In the middle? Where have you been? Okay, I can't go back to bed until I make sure it is safe. What's safe? Let's go back to, down to the basement? Okay, what about the laundry? The door? Was someone in here? Oh yeah, I guess that was some action. One of those figures, right? The door just opened by itself. Hello? Oh, so someone was in here. Looks like it left. Okay. All right, looks like I have to go back to bed, right? Oh, here we go again. All right, I'll close the door. What if I took a shower? Let me close all the doors now. Okay. Do that. We'll close this door. Everything's closed, right? 100%. All right. I'll close this door and we'll go back to bed. It isn't safe to go outside. I'll have to wait till morning. All right. That's how I go, right? They're still looking at me. What? The paintings? God damn, these paintings are so scary. All right, what now? What now? Why is everything red now? Is that sunlight already? Where is it coming from? Okay. Oh! Okay, everyone has left. These were windows. Okay, get it now. They're all windows. Ah! Who's there? I have to get out of here now! What is this? Okay, I slam the door behind me and run as fast as I have to in my life. I speed forward down that windy path, nearly tripping on the trail all the while hearing the footsteps of someone, something following. Suddenly I hear more and more footsteps, strange and human gurgling. Finally, I see my truck in the distance. I fumble with the keys, but get it unlocked and hop in. I slam the keys into the ignition and turn them. Start. Start, you piece of shit. I see eyes in the distance. Those same horrible portraits closing and slowly uh, behind the trees. Start! Inspired by the creepy pasta, the portraits. Oh, god damn it. Someone was at the door! Like right by those food and snacks and all that. That must be one of those monsters! Holy shit! Well, guys, there you go, the portraits. How scary, oh my gosh. I wonder what happened if I actually went down into the basement and it just found that generator. Yeah, that could be the same thing. Dolly! <laughs> uh, you mean Wally, reminds 
Yeah, it rhymes with Wally since I've watched that film. God damn. All right, guys, it's made on the Unity engine. And it was actually a very good scary game. Really enjoyed the, the creepypasta game, The Portraits. That was actually a brand new one. Anyway, read the original creepypasta and get more info about Atama. All right, I'll read the original creepypasta pretty soon in the next Hunter, Re Hunter Reads creepypasta. But anyway, thank you all for watching The Portraits, an indie horror game by Hunter N from Michio. If you all want to play this game and read the original creepypasta from there, and just give us your thumbs up, stay 100% cooler, be ready for the real action as always, and then I will see you in the fresh new start of Hunter Reads Creepypasta. As always, guys, goodbye!